hello everyone hello everyone today we will see few problems in probability first problem i'll read out the problem first and then i will explain how to do and i will do from a bag containing 10 black and 12 white balls a ball is drawn at random what is the probability that it is black before going to start the first problem i will tell you one thing now the combinations and permutations about permutations and combinations i have to tell now permutations what is mean by permutations i will tell you Co combinations first combination is nothing but a selection we are selecting from n things r things we can select we can select r things from n things we can select r things from n things is denoted with n c r selection combination is nothing but a selection we are drawing selecting taking choosing all are similar type of meaning whenever such type of word occurs choosing selecting drawing hmm, taking like that words occur you have to use the formula combinations formula combinations from out of n things we can choose or we can select r things in n c r ways n c r is equal to n factorial by n minus r factorial into r factorial this is the combinations formula combination is nothing but a selection we from n things we are selecting r things in n c r ways n c r is equal to n factorial by n minus r factorial into r factorial this is about combinations uh, now permutation what is permutation permutation is nothing but a arrangement what is permutation arranging flowers in a garland arranging beads in a chain whenever you do the arrangement here we are choosing we are selecting we are drawing we are taking that's why we, are, we have to use ncr formula when we have to apply permutations formula whenever you arrange arrange something whatever that it may be arranging books in a shelf arranging flowers in a garland arranging beads in a chain like that whenever you do the arrangements you have to use permutations permutation is nothing but an arrangement it is denoted with uh, we, from n things we are arranging r things in npr ways npr it is denoted with npr npr is equal to n factorial by n minus r factorial this is about permutations and this is about combinations when we have to apply combinations formula whenever you are selecting choosing uh, drawing or whatever taking such type of uh, we are uh, choosing a cards from a well shuffled pack of cards we are drawing or we are taking we are choosing we are selecting such type of word occurs you have to apply combinations formula whenever we are arranging flowers in a garland where we are arranging books in a shelf we are arranging something like that if you see such type of word we have to apply combination uh, permutations this is about combination this is about permutations now coming to the first problem i i read the first problem a bag contain 10 black and 12 uh, white balls total number of balls while doing the solution how to do this problem i'll tell you now whatever given content you read very much carefully total number of balls total number of balls how many are there 10 black balls plus 12 white balls is equal to 22 balls are there now therefore total total number of m is equal to total number of uh, total number of elementary events while doing the probability probability problems first we can find by observing the given things you can observe from the given things we can write the denominator very much easily after that finding the numerator only only our work our work is finding the numerator p of e is equal to m by n what is our formula probability p of e is equal to m by n n is the denominator m is the numerator finding and by the using given things we can find n very much easily finding m only our work m to uh, m m by n n is very much easily we can write n is equal to total number of elementary events 
by observing the given problem n we can write very much easily n is equal to total number of total how many balls are there 22 balls are there out of 22 balls what is one ball is drawn at random one ball is drawn taken selecting choosing at random in how many ways we can do this one n is equal to out of 22 balls we can select one ball in 22 c one ways we can do this one how total 22 balls are there n is equal to total number of elementary events is equal to 22 balls are there we can n is equal to we can what is our n we have to draw we have to draw one ball at random one ball in how many ways we can choose n is equal to 22 c one ways now any denominator is over numerator finding numerator number of favorable cases how many what and find what is the probability that uh, what is the probability that it is black uh, out of 22 balls if you draw one ball at random what is the probability that it is black ball total how many black balls are there out of uh, out of uh, 10 black balls black balls we can select one black ball in how many ways out of uh, uh, 10 black balls we can select one black ball in 10 c1 ways therefore numerator m is equal to 10 c1 10 c1 is equal to 10 22 c1 is equal to 22 obviously we know p of e always probability p of e is equal to m by n formula p of e m number of favorable cases by total number of total number of elementary events m is equal to 10 by 22 if you are using the calculator you can write the answer also p of e is equal to like that by observing the given problem itself you can find the denominator n after that we have finding the numerator m is our work now p of e is equal to 10 by 22 if you simplify you will get using the calculator you will get the answer the next problem is a box contains four white and five red balls and six black balls two balls are drawn at random what is the probability that both are black what is the probability that both are black now solution total number of balls total number of balls is equal to in the same way the, like previous one five red plus a six black how many total 9 15 balls 15 balls n is equal to total number of and uh, a box contains 4 5 and uh, 4 red uh, 4 white 5 red 6 black balls two balls are drawn at random what is the probability that uh, what is the probability that both are black two balls are drawn at random that means uh, out of 22 balls uh, out of out of out of 15 balls total balls is 15 balls we can select we can select we can draw or we can select two balls out of 15 balls we can select two balls in how many ways 15 c two ways therefore total is 15 and denominator n is equal to 15 c two after that n is equal to 15 c2 now what is the probability that one is m what is the probability that both are black uh, to find that both balls are black balls what is the probability that both are black is m. now total how many black balls are there six black balls are there therefore out of six black balls we can select two black balls in how many ways 6 c2 ways therefore m is equal to 6 c2 simplify using the calculator you will get the sum answer therefore probability is equal to probability p of e is equal to m by n m is 6 c2 by 15 c2 use the calculator and simplify and write down the answer 
including decimals don't keep like this do not leave the answer like this use the calculator and simplify you will get the answer that is the answer the next one is the question is three unbiased coins are tossed three unbiased coins are tossed find the probability of getting first one is all heads second one at least two heads third one is at least two tails three coins three coins unbiased coins tossed three coins are tossed therefore sample space s is equal to whenever you do the three coins three coins are tossed simultaneously you will get the sample space as h h h that means three coins are having h h h h t h h h t h t t t t h after that t h t after that T H H, T H H, and T T T. Total, how many are there? If you uh, uh, toss three coins simultaneously, you will get the sample space as eight. Why? Because we are tossing three coins. Therefore, two into two into two, eight. N N is equal to. n denominator n is equal to total number of or total number of elementary events is equal to 8 because we are tossing three coins that's why n is equal to 8 the sample space 8 are if you toss three coins you will get such type of sample space h h h h means first coin second coin third coin h t h first coin second coin third coin first h h t first coin second coin third coin like that the sample space like that you will get 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 now what is the first problem first bit is at all heads what is the probability m first bit is all heads n is n is equal to 8 for all the three problems denominator n is equal to 8 all heads all heads in how many are there all heads is only one Count all heads. How many are there? H H H. All heads is M is equal to one. Therefore, P of E is equal to M by N. M is equal to M is equal to how much? One. N is equal to how much? Eight. One by eight is the first bit answer. Second bit. What is the second bit? At least two heads. At least two heads. What is the meaning of at least? You tell me the meaning of at least first of all. at least means for example for suppose i have uh, four apples with me i have four apples with me somebody came and asked me i want at least one apple i want at least one apple what is the meaning of that if i give one no problem two also no problem three also no problem if, if i give all the four also no problem at least minimum minimum one like that at least one apple i need means minimum one if you give more uh, more than one also no problem two also no problem three also no problem four also no problem because i have only maximum four apples are there like that at least two heads at least two heads in minimum two or more than that also no problem now how many are there minimum two two heads two heads here only one head is there two heads three heads Minimum two means at least minimum two. More than two also no problem. Three heads, two heads, two heads, two heads. One, two, three, four. M is equal to four. Therefore, P of E is equal to M by N. Four by eight is equal to one by two. Now minimum two. At least minimum two heads. At least two heads. Two, 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 and more than two. now third one is at least two tails third one is third bit is at least two tails m is equal to 
tails at least two tails just now i told you the meaning of at least two tails two tails one two tails two two tails three all the three how many are there one two three four m is equal to four if you see the sample space two tails two tails two tails all the three more than two also no problem m is equal to four p of e is equal to m by n is equal to 4 by n is equal to always 8 eh? total number of elementary events n is equal to 8 already that is equal to 1 by 2 thank you please subscribe to my channel and like